Should Cinelifters use GPS rescue? Why is this even a question, Blunty? You've got a giant, expensive quadcopter with an expensive camera. Obviously, if you fail safe, you don't want it to just crash into the ground, or do you? Well, so there was a lot of conversation about this in uh, one of the threads in your Discord, and uh, I thought it was an interesting thing to discuss. So basically, the argument was between, uh, basically, should you use GPS rescue on center lifters because it's better than the quad crashing into people or and losing a camera? That's a lot of money, right? So let's say you're flying over a crowd of people to do shots, or sure. let's, say, let's say you're near a crowd of people and you might hit them if you fail safe, right? Something like that. Um, should you have the GPS rescue in that case to save you, or does the GPS rescue pose a risk because it's an automated flight mode, right? Yep. Does like giving, does giving the computer control of your, you know, $3,000 quad with a camera on it uh, that has all these giant blades flying around? Uh, yeah, which, which is which? So I don't know. Well, I don't know I, that I have a position because I don't fly center lifters, but I think this is an interesting argument to have. I also don't fly lifters, so I guess that's going to be yeah. it for the... No. Uh, I, two things come to my mind. One is that when, when Rotor Riot visited FreeFly Systems, makers of the Alta-X and other expensive Cinelifter drones that fly $40,000 cameras, they fly on a Pixhawk flight controller, and they do have the option to fly with autonomous modes. So, for example, he, he showed us how you could set multiple landing locations. So if you're doing some kind of a waypoint mission where... Where, where, wherever you are, the closest landing position is where it will auto land. So if you're like out over the ocean, you could have an, like an island and you'd be like, look, if you can't get back to shore, you can land on this island instead. Now, the, it, the implication there is that there would be times when an Alta X would be set to auto land in case of a failsafe. Sure. Um, the flip side of that, do you want to take the counter argument? Well, I think the counter argument is just that can you rely on that the entire time? Like, can you always rely on that software to be correct? Can you always rely right. on the positioning to be correct? Can you always rely on like, you know, did somebody mess up when they did the code and nobody ever found the bug that you find and that bug causes you to crash into three people? Yeah, you I know, mean, like, I think it, a, yeah. it depends heavily on your sort of mission profile. So if you're flying for like, like, oh my God, if you're flying for, you know, whatever, over the ocean for, what is that, dangerous catch? Most, what is that? What is that show he flies for? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Some Discovery Channel show, yeah. Deadly Catch. If you're flying out over the ocean and there's nothing for you to crash into, and you're doing like a, a high tracking shot of a boat, sure. I mean, presume I could absolutely see deciding that rather than lose your footage, you'd rather have it loiter or you'd rather have it try to return to home. Although, where is home if you if you're on a boat? I don't know. But regardless. On the other hand, if you're doing a shot like the uh, like Vanover shots in Ambulance where you're flying underneath a police car as it jumps over and you're going to fly over the hood of this car, at that point, if anything goes wrong, it's better to just dump it and not take a chance that you, you're going to crash into something. And that's the position that I've heard from most Cinelifter pilots, guys like Nurk, guys like oh my God. I, I asked some of them this question and they said, no, nah, just dump it and let the insurance pay for the camera. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's interesting because, um, yeah, what do you do? I mean, especially in these cases where we're going to get more and more people flying over people now that there's like the weight limit requirements where maybe you're not flying a Cinelifter, but you're flying something that can fly over people. Like right. should, where, where, yeah, I don't know where the line is to wh whether you should be using GPS rescue or whether that should fall out of the sky. Because if you're yeah. over people, you'd assume you want to rescue it. But if you can actually at least accelerate. Yeah, if you can have that quad accelerate by accident, though, that does seem like it could be a problem. So, Yeah, Tommy's argument was when you're in close proximity to, like, you're chasing a vehicle, let's say, um, if it kicks into uh, return to home, there's going to be a moment where it just kind of goes, huh? oh, I'm going home now. And in that yeah. moment, it is going to be an obstacle that another vehicle could crash into, uh, or just the sudden disruption of it if you have a micro failsafe could throw you off and cause a problem. Um, seems like a valid argument from a guy who does this as a professional. Um, what, it's kind of a boot point, though, because most people flying Cinelifters, certainly acro Cinelifters, are flying Betaflight. And Betaflight doesn't yeah. really have... A, I definitely wouldn't trust Betaflight well, GPS Rescue well, to get me question, back home though. again. 
is it irresponsible then to fly a sun lifter with beta flight if you can't use GPS rescue to stop from hitting people or something, right? Is it is it irresponsible to fly a sun lifter with Pixhawk where the acro performance is so bad that you have less control to make the kind of ultra precise moves like like Vanover did in ambulance? Counter argument. Anyway. Oh, he's oh, that's it. I win the argument. Blunty is gone. Am I gone? Have I dropped off the internet? What's going on here? Are we back? We're back. Yes, we're Are back. we back? Hey, what? Well, I don't know what. Well, uh, I guess the CIA decided they didn't like us talking about their Jeep doors and cut us off. I don't know what just happened there, but uh, while we have a moment, yeah. I guess it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> thank you, Blunty. Yes. I guess we'll never yes, know the answer. You, 